was born in Bangalore. Uh, on 10 4 I was born in Bangalore. Uh, I belong to a village called Haroholi, uh, some in the Anakapura Taluk. Uh, we are, we, we are, we are land, landed gentry. Uh, we had about a hundred acres of land and it was a joint family and all that. Some 50 people used to dine every day in our houses, including the children and all that. My, my grandfather was a member of the uh, representative assembly of those days. Then there was no elections, only nominations were there. Uh, prominent people in uh, villages, in and towns, all them, all of them would be asked to be members of the Nanu vidyarthi agidaga Gandhi avara my early life nanage Nadi Tail Six book agitu. Adarali vandu matu banditu. Oba samajika kari karta onu. He should have voluntary poverty at the Kanta Matit. Somehow it caught my imagination, but I could not understand the significance of that. But it remained in my mind. But Nanu Munde Saru Janika Jivana Dali Torigidaga, Nanige Adu Tumba Handiagi Bantu. Nanu Saru Janika Jivan Dalir Bekadre, Nanu Kandavar Kaige Odubardu. I should have an independent life of my own. My income should be there. I should not depend upon any other's mercy. I should, be, in that case, I will be quite free and frank in my views, in my talking. Therefore, I decided to hug poverty voluntarily. Number of people, eminent people, orators from the Congress used to come to Bangalore. They used to deliver lectures. I used to go and meet them and uh, uh, get inspired by them. Uh, at the same time, the Harijan paper, which was edited by Mahatma Gandhi, that also inspired us a lot. More than finally, K.F. Nariman K.F. Nariman was the president of the uh, Bombay Congress Committee. He was also the mayor of Bombay. So when he came and addressed the meeting in Bangalore, 30,000 people were there in Banappa Park. He was, he was talking about the politics when one Mr. Basappa, an inspector of police, he came and said, you have arrested you and dragged him from the pedestal and took him to the car. So people were annoyed. So the, uh, the police began beating uh, the crowd and there was a regular fight between the people and the police. Uh, so that enraged us. You see, they have, he has unnecessarily humiliated a big personality like Nariman. So I was in the intermediate college at that time. So we decided to close down the school college for the day in protest against this high-handedness of the uh, police. Uh, the superintendent of the college, he uh, uh, informed the police. In, the police came with canes. They began beating us. And that was the first experience of uh, Lati charge, to, so far as I am concerned. I did not leave my college. I studied further. I studied up to B.Sc. Then I, during June, I became the teacher in a government in a, a high school, Gandhi Nagar High School. I became a teacher there. I was there from June to December. Uh, in August, this uh, Quit India movement started, and all our leaders had been arrested. So only one or two people were left. One Mr. K. A. Vengatramaya and another Mr. A. J. Ramchandra. They came to our house. I and my brother H. S. Sitaram, who later became the mayor of Bangalore, 
uh, he approached us and said, "We are going underground. We want to carry on the movement for that, uh, and therefore you should be, you should help us from being outside." We said we agreed to that. Forty-two movements began with in Mysore strike. It began with students strike. The students struck work. in all the colleges schools all the colleges and schools were closed and students uh, uh, played a very important part for three months then the movement died down at that time uh, we want to take up labor uh, laborers to our confidence and start a movement uh, and then we called all the uh, workers of the Uh, labor leaders of the uh, workers of the three mills uh, bini mill raja mill and minerva mill uh, it consisted of 8000 people uh, all of them came there and uh, we had a frank talk and uh, andy shankar said uh, we will take up this uh, case and we will try to close down the mills indefinitely i was also supplying time bombs time bombs to several workers in the other districts when i gave one such th- such uh, uh, to one person in tumkur he was caught red handed and he was beaten and he was brought to bangalore and they searched my house they came, because that fellow had told that i had given the whole thing therefore i was taken to the a police station uh, the senate of police station it was called now called also also police station police surrounded me with lattes and I was put in the middle uh, that was the first experience of a police station for me somehow they did not touch me i was under the impression that they would beat me to death but <laughs> fortunately they did not touch me at all they took me to the magistrate and the magistrate said uh, uh, he will be there indefinitely in the jail as a detainee so i was taken to central jail in bangalore i was there for 14 months so for us we people we youngsters who had no responsibility of the family and all that it was a very joyful day for us we enjoyed the jail life uh, we were without work because as detainee news we were not given any work so i was a uh, volleyball volleyball hitter in the central college so we started the game there and also we had a number of uh, lectures and other things uh, one mistake by jawarlal nehru He is responsible for Kashmir issue. When Timaya, General Timaya, said, "Give me half an hour time. I am going to take that LOC, that is line up control. I will take that into my position. Then you can do anything. You please give me half an hour time." Jawaharlal Nehru said, "Nothing doing. It's my cat." so it is that loc that is now the feeding feeding ground for the uh, for those terrorists now they are they have occupied it it's an occupied land now that should be made in a, no no man no man's land uh, once that is done then things may improve no no as a matter of fact i was a congressman myself i was a very active congressman uh, those days but when indira gandhi came in and she formed a, a she brought a split in the congress i got i got disillusioned and from that day onwards i have uh, severed my connections with them uh, i was i am in the sarvodaya movement for a long with vinoba i have worked with vinoba i worked with jay prakash during the emergency the emergency i wrote a letter to indira gandhi saying that you are ruling in the name of democracy but you are acting like a dictator and i held a meeting first meeting in gandhi bazar 
uh, I was arrested and they, I, they took me to the jails and they, they put me before the court. But the court said, after, uh, uh, they asked the um, uh, prosecutor, well, uh, I have kept him for four months. Uh, tell your government that you have to be satisfied with that. He is not an enemy of India. Therefore, uh, and he, he has not waged a war against the government. He has only criticized this Prime Minister. He has every right to criticize the Prime Minister because as a citizen he has every right to do that. So he said, I will keep him for seven more days. You just tell me whether there are any other clauses by which to, I, I can punish him. <laughs> Immediately after about four months I was released from the jail. I am 99 years old now. Uh, my centenary will be on the 10th of April. Uh, but with all that, I feel, uh, see, I, as, a, as, a, as a freedom fighter, uh, it's my duty uh, to uh, see that the youth in the country are well aware of what the freedom means, how, it, how much it costs, and what is the, what their responsibilities? From that point of view, I am I am trying to be with them. Any moment that they start, they go. But now, at the at the, at the age of 98, I realize that I should hereafter think of only uh, changing the society. Uh, only such things should be taken up. So one such thing was at Mandu, uh, where. All our uh, uh, the municipal waste, municipal waste, all that to be were, were being dumped in there. For seven years they have dumped in at the rate of 300 tons a day. So they were hillocks for them. I got annoyed. I I just stopped there. I called those uh, in the villagers. I told them, "How are you tolerating all this? It is so foul, oh, foul oh, oh smelling." And it may, it may have caused a lot of damage to you. How are you? Yes, sir, everything has happened. Uh, the whole water has percolated into the uh, wells and all that, and therefore they are contaminated. Yeah, there are so two or three people have died of uh, 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 heart uh, trouble or lungs, lungs trouble or something like that. Therefore, uh, we are helpless, sir. We are I thought I was the sinner. It's my it is my dirt, it is my, um, this is going, going, going to those places. So I felt like uh, atoning for that. So I asked them, shall we, uh, if we are all prepared, we shall stop this nonsense. So they all sat in, we all sat in there for 15 days and 144 section was um, clamped and ladies were taken to distant police stations and kept there for a day and they were left in the forest and some youths are also were, were arrested they were taken to some other police station and they also left them in the forest at the midnight so they all came back and we continued the fight then 20, 144 section was we went to Krishna Rajapuram uh, began uh, stopping the um, uh, trucks from coming from there and stuff. No, no wonder party four was there. Therefore, he did that. So, after 15 days, the chief minister called us. Then, uh, I, we told him that we believe only, only you and not the corporation or anything of that sort. Tell us when you are going to stop this nonsense. So, he said within one month, it is going to be stopped. Then, we said, uh, we take it as uh, a gospel, the truth, and therefore we will wait till uh, for a month. So within 15 days, he stopped the whole thing. Uh, in Bangalore district, rural district, and uh, urban district, 40,000 acres of land were given to individuals one or two acres each like that by six special deputy commissioners who were appointed by the then uh, BJP government. 
six of them. So they had distributed their lives. And there was a court order. The court order said, what is this, this, this purple? What business, what power have you to uh, uh, give them the powers of a deputy commissioner? The uh, revenue secretary was called. He was sold. Well, uh, your, your people are doing this. And do you stop it or not? He said, hereafter it will be stopped and we will issue a notice. Later on, for two years, they continue to distribute the land. And I put a, a case in the High Court. And the High Court said, is there government? The government promises that they are not going to dump it. Uh, to um, allow these deputy commissioners to distribute their land, but at the same time this is going on. Is there a government? That's what they are. We took up the cause and we fought for 39 days. That was a regular uh, um, protest for 39 days and ultimately the government yielded. So eight, eight uh, government orders had to be passed in regard to this. So, uh, for every one of them we had to um, fight and uh, have protest meetings. Uh, legislature, uh, they had passed a resolution that there should be a special court to inquire into these cases. Then the special court also uh, started. It is there in Kaveri Bhavan. Uh, it is now working. So, there are now about 20 to 30 percent of lands have been taken back. So, 40,000 acres means in Bangalore, it is 40,000 crores. 40,000 crores of rupees have been saved to the government. So far as these governments are concerned, it's not one government. I don't, I don't speak of Siddharamaya's government. I speak of all governments at the center and here. They are not going to the real problems of the country. For example, the real problems of the country are poverty is one thing. That has to be eradicated. Gandhiji, when he started his movement and when he wanted this country to be free, he, the first priority was to eradicate poverty. There is no safety for women. Uh, and the youth are misled. And there is, uh, people are, uh, have no, uh, employment and number of them become anti-social. All this is a gimmick. Uh, it's only for elect it's all for election. This will not be continued by any other government. Instead of giving them uh, doles like that, they could as well give them lands, give them emissions, give them training, in machines, give them some capital and ask them to stand on their own legs. That is the way to solve poverty and this is not going to solve the poverty. Means of production should be in the hands of those who are going to work. Next election, it's terrible. My expectations are very terrible because uh, now that uh, Modi and uh, uh, who is that? Uh, Shah, Shah. Modi and Shah. I don't know, they may play a havoc this time. They want to uh, root out Congress because that is the one organization which has been there for long and is deep rooted and uh, he wants to root it out. Once that is rooted out, the other people, other parties, he can, they can they buy them or um, um, or they come and surrender before them. That is the feeling they have. So the people, he wants to see an India uh, uh, ruled by BJP. All over India, there should be a rule of BJP. Then he can change the constitution. He already, already began thinking about that. They want to change the constitution. Say, this is uh, Hindu Raj. Unless all the other forces who are for democracy, if all the other forces, all the other uh, political parties should uh, join together and give a uh, fight 
then only there is a possibility of uh, the survival of democracy otherwise i don't know whether he is going to be a hitler or he is ruling in the name of people i am not aware so far as the media is concerned uh, it has to have some sort of regulation it has to control itself uh, the first rate i am not saying that the government should pounce on them and fight uh, cases against them that's not the thing they have as much a responsibility as the three other uh, th- things are there now i know as i know journalists if you if i uh, hold a meeting or hold a protest meeting they expect money from me they they ask me for money if i pay the news will be uh, broadcast uh, it will be uh, put in the papers otherwise they won't this is the sort of thing that is going on i myself was journalist i was editing a paper i was editing a paper which was worth like 3 paise it was confiscated and i went to hindupur started the from from there for 13 day 9 days i st- i supplied paper from there i know i, I was the president of the journalist association i know all that what i am saying is there should be some regulation one particular uh, uh, um, uh, tv uh, is wedded to modi the other one is wedded to uh, sidramaiya uh, i am saying it very clearly uh, they are trying to dupe us you see by uh, supporting a wrong person they are duping the whole people they should be they should be honest they should not have any sort of this sort of bias for it towards anybody or uh, poised anybody against uh, anybody that's not their duty at all the new generation have no guidance at all there is no leader to guide them so they are in a, in a, in a very puzzled state of mind so they should study the situation with themselves they should also understand that democracy is to be uh, survived it is to be sustained and every one of them be vigilant